It is East Africa's no frills airline, offering low prices for journeys that passengers in the past might have taken by road. But 2016 hasn't been kind to FastJet. Losses have widened and its share price has fallen. The reason is that we anticipated demand to continue to grow in Tanzania and that didn't for, for various reasons. And so airlines have to be able to react quite quickly because flying empty seats is an extremely expensive thing to do and, and you need a lot of cash to be able to do it. So we've had to react to the change in the market. I'm sure it's a temporary change, but nonetheless, we can't afford to wait for it to come back. The company has been forced to make significant changes. This time last year, FastJet had ambitious plans to expand to more destinations and grow the number of passengers. Now it's having to scale back, reducing the size of its fleet, using smaller aircraft and making pilots redundant. But the company hopes this short-term pain will make it sustainable long into the future. In recent days, passengers have been frustrated by delays and last-minute cancellations as the measures take effect. We do regret that we have had a number of cancellations and disruptions over the last uh, nine days. But today is the, is the first day that we have regulatory approval to fly our new uh, aircraft type, the Embraer 190. And thereafter, we'll be flying it on a, on a regular basis every single day. So our flights will go very much more back to normal from today. And I'd say maybe 80% back to normal. And by the end of the month, they will be 100% back to normal. When it launched four years ago, FastJet set its sights high. But market challenges are dragging its ambitions back down to earth. Lucy Taylor, CCTV, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.